family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? Uh, first things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. Good news. I found the man that really killed Vanderberg. His name is Glenn Byers. And better still, I have a confession written in his own hand. You work fast, Mr. Reed. But how do you plan on refuting Pierce's testimony against you? Well, as it happens, here's a letter detailing how Pierce was bribed to lie to the police. A remarkable effort. Thank you. I'll hand it all over to the authorities. Now, one more thing. Glenn was forced to commit the crime, and he confessed everything, given the circumstances. Can he hope for leniency? I'll see what we can do. But do be aware, Mr. Reed, that in this city, 
Excessive kindness may be taken advantage of. Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. I'm watching you. How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this. All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a... I only set the scene. I'll... What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. First things first about your case. Your short-sightedness surprised me. Why, Charles? Why hand poor Mr. Byers over to the police. If you're feeling guilty, maybe you shouldn't have started any of this. It was him or me. Simple as that. I had no choice. But you did. 
This whole situation was about choices, and you chose poorly. We will have to discuss this further. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate tribe. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. No more riddles, Johannes. If you need something from me, talk. I am. You're just not listening. You have a great destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. And what? Everything. You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them, and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose, to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. When you put it like that, I think I agree. Splendid! The puppet is finally cutting his strings. Fear not. I'll be by your side all the way. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. Seriously? All that, and you don't even know how to find Katigana? <laughs> if I knew that... Would I be working with a private eye? This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste.